morning. Uh, hope you're all going well. <clears throat> it's uh, well, where are we up to? Monday. Monday. Yes, I do have a jacket on. Yes, it's cold. Uh, it's the. What are we up to? 21st of November, and it's about 14 degrees and blowing a gale. Anyway, it's better than raining. Uh, yeah, so the boys are here. Brendan's down, uh, cutting a bit of hay. Just a contract job. Uh, I think I have mentioned before he's. He was well. He had his own farm, so he's still got a bit of his own hay gear. So just to give him a bit of skin in the job, uh, he does. He's still a tractor and mowing conditioner, so uh, he does. He does the mowing and raking on one of these jobs that we've got, uh, and we just do the baling. So that just gives him a bit of extra cash and sliding air out of the wind. Gives him a bit of extra cash and uh, sort of gives him a little bit of skinny in the job uh tommy's here tommy's just on the oh god tommy's here he's just you will be able to see him over there he's just got the slasher on just slash, slashing a bit of grass around the place uh we didn't get didn't get a chance to get anything sprayed but we're <coughs> sort of thinking going forward uh we might we might look at a bigger slasher and just clean get everything tidied up enough so we can run around the slasher with the slasher rather than spraying stuff spray stuff out over the winter uh, and then we find that all your, your summer weeds your burrs and all that sort of stuff grow on the bare ground so um, we just do rye grasses and that give it a bit of competition you get a bit of cover on the ground you, just, uh, um, you probably might not get the the other weeds as such uh, so you know just rounding the, the troops up got the mother bin out uh, i got the gps in the head this morning i've just got to loosen these these mats off because uh, they'll be they'll just be a bit sticky i think um just from the the canola oil on that from last season so generally we just loosen just take the tension off them and um to get them to run and then we'll tighten them back up again so yeah gps is in it seems to be talking to the header which is good I uh, got the tipper on this morning. I'll chuck some overalls on and give it a grease. Uh, youngest daughter, Molly Jane, does have COVID, so, which is not ideal. Anyway, there's a fair chance we'll probably, the rest of us all in the family, that is, we'll end up with it. Brendan's already had it. I don't know whether Tom's had it or not, but anyway, just trying to keep my distance from those guys. I don't want to sort of spread it around if we can. Uh, yeah, so as usual, plenty happening. I uh, spoke to a cartage contractor this morning, um, so we're aiming, we're aiming to probably have a crack on Wednesday, a couple of days time. So uh, just going to finish off everything, getting everything organised. The top cross org is here for the front, so we'll get it banged in. So yeah, just a bit of maintenance the next couple of days. The Rams have got to go back in uh, tomorrow for their sort of another two week period. Uh, yeah, so we're. We're pretty well, yeah, pretty well organised, apart from a few bits and pieces. So we're uh, here. We're getting there. Just loosen the belts off here on the pig up front, and I've come to loosen that one off. And you can probably see it. It's actually sheared off. So what we'll do is we'll get that out of there. And I'll cut that off. Try and get the the remaining thread out of it. And yeah, I'll get a new set screw. It probably doesn't get as, uh, as much love as it probably should, this pickup front, but anyway, a few jobs like this pre harvest a bit more fun than trying to fix it when we want to go.
same or not. Sort of butchered a bit, get butchered it a bit getting it off. Anyway, we'll uh, put it on the list of stuff we need to get when we go to town. So just tried to fire this up and she no go. So what's happened is this this belt here that drives the center mat. We've got the front ones working, it's direct drive with the hydraulic motor. But the back one runs off this belt here, which is a pretty primitive setup, but anyway. Ah uh, yeah, we one of the jobs we did last year was a very poorly windrowed job. Um, lots of lots of beaver huts as we call them, big uh, yeah, it wasn't really rode well at all. Big poles, a knotted canola, and it was pretty hard on the pickup front. So I'd say it's uh, stretched this belt. Uh, yeah, so we'll <clears throat> we'll just got to undo these hoses to get the belt belt through, as you can see. And uh, hopefully, I think that's the right size belt. Fingers crossed it all it goes on, and then we can get him to run. But it wants to go. But yeah, just the the belt's not um, not tight enough by any means. I don't know, take two or three, four or five. Oh, come on, we're away. do um Need to fix up that adjuster. What I might do is I'll just take it out the driveway. I'll just put that guard back on, take it out the driveway, and just make sure the steering's going to work. And uh, we should be right to go. Okay, so the head is about done. Just got to uh, get that, fix that adjusting right up on the belt. But I'll have to get the GPS man out. I don't know what's going on. It's it's not working. The way it should. <laughs> anyway, it's not steering. So anyway, that's all right. Um, so no, just gonna pull the slide out of this mother bin. Uh, easiest way to we do it's just hook the ute onto it, uh, and we'll get under and we'll, we'll give everything a bit of a grease. Easy as. Makes it really easy to clean out. Still a bit crappier at the back from last harvest actually, but there's just a series of bearing carriers. Get in, I'll show you one without any overalls on, so I'll show you one here. I think just here. Yeah, so just a little bearing carrier there with a grease nipple on it. There's a series of them along along the length of it. Uh, yeah, this bit this bin's it's supposed to be 70 ton but we get a, we get about 55 or 60 ton of weed in it um, so it's sort of a road train load which is good but yeah it makes unloading we've gone from little round field bins to, to this thing it makes unloading um, yeah you just sort of nice and quick you haven't got to try and get it in the little small hole uh, 
and yeah as far as moving between farms it's yeah you just you can move it with a bit of grain in it it's not ideal but generally generally we don't shift it full we, we might shift it paddock to paddock but not farm to farm so uh, get it empty and, and yeah you can just fold the auger down and go so oh no, we're slowly winning <coughs> uh bins all greased up got the slide back in uh just check the gearbox oil level it's uh got plenty of oil in it uh just had a phone call that the hydraulic pump for the windrail's in so we'll fly into town and grab it and get it back together and get it mobile because we've still got a, a little bit of work to do uh um, once it get once we get it going so uh yeah it's it's starting to go to plan fingers crossed it still goes to plan in uh, the next 24 hours all right we have it uh yeah so that there is about twelve thousand dollars yes twelve thousand dollars you did hear right anyway we'll uh, get to it tommy's on his way here with the tractor old mate's telling me about half a day to change it so we'll uh yeah we'll hook in and see how we go there's a uh, bank of rain coming but anyway fingers crossed we can make a start on it and and get a bit done very quickly that's the culprit I've just got the new one bolted up Tommy on the job let's try and get it back in hasn't been too bad actually we've about an hour and a half and we're nearly putting it back in now so it took longer to change the hydraulic fittings out than what it did to do anything else
from the bolt that was in the top of it. Chris all the plate, get rid of that plate, you don't need it. Oh, Jesus. There's your back. Jeez, that air is cold. What did you hear what you said then? Air. Air. Cold. Cold. Oh, cold. Right. Roger. Come with you. Jack him up and just give so I can get a bit more clearance on the breaker bar. Yeah. You're right, you don't have to be too sick.
This side's a bit tricky because it's going the other way. It's getting darker. The other car trained me before, he's like... Hi. The other car trained me before, he said it's absolutely piece of Yeah. Oh, rain delays. We're getting there. Just, uh, just got to get the wheel back on. Where the jack sunk a bit in the soft ground, so we just um, we've got the wheel on, but we're just gonna just gonna put the pressure on the tire, and I'll screw the top of the jack up a little bit, and we'll get another crack at it. Oh no! So we're up and going again. Uh, yeah, we won't do anything tonight. It's about seven o'clock now. So, but yeah, thankfully that's what the answer was. Uh, sun's now shining we're getting getting five seasons in one day here at the moment which is a bit of a pain but anyway uh yeah anyhow it's uh happy days on the wind rowing front so we'll just see just need to suss a bit of ground country out tomorrow we've still got a bit to do i uh, still got about 300 hectares of canola to do with our own own stuff uh but yeah we'll we'll get this back and we might wash a bit of oil off it it's um just changing the hoses over it's leaked quite a bit of oil and we'll probably want to top up uh yeah but we'll, we'll get the farmer to bring down bring us down a bit of fuel in the morning and uh yeah just got to go and have a look at the next job uh it's down on some heavy gray country and and yeah brendan's down there cutting hay and it's it's only just where he's cutting hay so we'll see how we go but uh anyway keep tuning in we'll catch you on the next one thank you